What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cosmo back with a deck profile and today I'm gonna show you guys my Link Harpy deck of uh, 2018. Uh, I'm so happy that Greyfly finally came out and um, I got some key additions, some new key additions to the deck that really helps this deck out now. So um, this is one of my favorite decks of all time. All my friends know that and uh, um, I will always be with Harpies. To the day I quit you, your Harpies will always be number one to me. So, um, without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. So, um, first off, I run three Harpy Chandler. She is the most important part of this deck. Um, if anything happens to her, you know, if she gets, um... You know, Blossom or Cherries. No, not Cherries, I'm sorry. Blossom or Ghost Ogre, you know, it, it's a problem. But, you know, hopefully, you know, you won't have to run into that. That's why we play Feather Storm to counter that. So, you got to run three copies of Chandler. If you don't know what she does, you discard a Harpy Monster or a Harpy card. doesn't matter. And uh, you get to bring out any Harpy Monster from your deck. Normally, this is your good rank 7 play. You go into your... You know, your number 42, or your Draco, or your Big Eye, you know, back in the day. But you know, now it's pretty much for that for that um, Tomahawk play. So, um, got to run, always got to run three copies of her. She's the most important person, girl of this deck. So, three Chandler. Uh, next off, I run two Harpy Queen. Um, sorry, I had this OT for a long time, man. I think I pulled in a pack, but... Um, yeah, but you gotta run two, I've run two, har two Harpy Queens, you know, if you want to look for a hunting ground, you can just discard or get, get a hunting ground. Um, that's all she's really used for, is the Scarf Fodder. And you can use her when you go into your, um, historic party plays or whatever. So, two copies of her. Uh, next off, I run three copies of Harpy Harpist. She is, you know, I would say the second most important girl in this deck. Uh, when she's sent to the graveyard, you know, at the end of the phase, you can add a harpy monster to your hand. Um, but pretty much what you want to do is you're going to want to add uh, Chandler back to your hand, you know, 15 or below. So you want to run, really want to run, add her back to your hand and do some more combo plays again. But, you know, she's awesome. Uh, I love her. Uh, yeah, you got to run three copies of Harpy Harpers. Uh, next off, I run two copies of Harpy Dancer. Um, she's awesome. You know, you can do some sick plays with her with Divine Myth Valley. Uh, yeah, I mean, she can help you pop back rub if you have hunting ground on the field. And, you know, she's all in all a good card. And I uh, only run two copies of her. I want to run her at three at the moment. I mean, if Divine Myth Valley ever came back to three, yeah, I'll probably run her at three. But, you know, two copies of her is fine enough. So two copies of her. Uh, to round off my Harpy Girls, I run two um, Harpy Lady 1. Pretty much she's just there for elegant egotists and, you know, beef up fodder. For the for the wind monster, all my wind girls, and then the last off, Harpy's pet dragon. And for all you haters out there that gave me grief last year about running Harpy's pet dragon, now I see y'all motherfuckers running Harpy's pet dragon now, cause that's because of Tomahawk. So this shows that Harpy's pet dragon is decent in this deck. You only want to run one copy of her, though. Only one. You don't want to run one of him. Sorry. One of him in your deck. But uh, yeah, Harpy's Pet Dragon. For all you haters out there that question me, I'm running Harpy's Pet Dragon. Now y'all running him again. Now y'all running him now, right? Alright. Had to throw that out there. Got some haters out there. Um, next off, I run two Summoner Monk. He's a new addition to me. I never ran him before, but uh, you really want to see Chandler as fast as possible. And uh, bringing Chandler out with him is is decent and then you can just dis discard your hysteric sign and get more harpy monsters to your hand at the end phase because you discarded it uh it's all it's all in all a good card so i only run one two monks so i don't really want to see anything but harpy monsters but monk is a good addition to the deck and this is the first time i actually ever ran monk so yeah two monks um for my hand trap i run in two effect villa now 
I this could be anything. You don't have to run effect villa. You can run Ash in this place or Ghost Ogre. But I just run two effect villa because you know it's uh you know it's a I don't know, just a decent hand trap. <laughs> uh and it's not like once per turn with this either. So I know how like if you ash something, you know, you pull it can still you know you can't if you have another ash in your hand you can't use it again. It's only once per turn. But you know, this one you can just make sure you can you don't have to worry about that. So I only run two effect veiler, so and um for my one up I'm running one various statue, you know, just for that stun play. And then to run off the monsters I run one um Kaiju Gandora. Uh pretty much this is just for, you know, problem monsters that I can't get over or someone's play something that's unaffected like card effects. So that's it for my monsters. Uh for my spells I run two Harpy's Hunting Ground. I always ran this at three, but you know, when I you know, now not so much I don't need to see three anymore. I mean one is fine. Um and uh this is pretty much one of the most brokenest fill spells in Yu-Gi-Oh! Probably one of the top ten. I'll put it in the top ten category. Now all you gotta do is control a harpy monster and you get to when you play a harpy monster and you can just pop back roll. So only one harpy's hunting ground. And then I run one uh divine wind of Miss Valley. So you know this card is awesome with um Dancer. You can just bounce Dancer back and get a special summon, then you can just you know, go into some crazy XYZ on you know, link plays or whatever. So, I run one valley. If this came back to three, this would be a problem. <laughs> Let's put it out there. Uh, next off, I run three historic sign. This is a must in this deck. You have to run this um, because this helps you search for elegant egotists. And if it gets popped at the end of phase, you get to add three harpy cards to your hand. And also, if this card gets discarded, you know, from Monk, you can get three cards from him, too. So, uh, you got to run this card at three. It's, a, it's very, very, very important. Got to run this card at three. Uh, next off, I run um, the one Elegant Egotist. Pretty self-explanatory. His sign can always search this out, no matter what, if it's in your graveyard or your deck. So, you always add it back to your hand. So, one sign, one Elegant Egotist. Next off, I run two Swallow's Nest. Uh, this card is awesome. Like, if you, you know, you want to see Chandler, you can bring out Chandler with this. Or you can also bring out your Burial Statue because, you know, you got Wind Monsters and their Rank 4s and their Wind Attributes and all that. So, uh, I run two Swallow's I want to run this at three because I did play test it at three and it was kind of cloggy. So, two has been working fine for me. So, that's two. Uh, and then for my last spell, I run one... Monster Reborn. You know, this card is awesome. You get to steal monsters and you can bring back your Harpy's Pet Dragon and do some more shenanigans. So Kayla's already out on the board. Uh, for my traps, I play three Harpy Feather Storm. This card is amazing. It's a skill drain on steroids and you don't have to worry about, you know, if you got your camera out and someone wants to ash you, you can just chain it with Feather Storm and you know, they can't activate no effects for the turn. No monster effects. So, this is awesome. I love this card. This is what Harpies needed. And the good thing is you get activated from your hand. All you gotta do is control a Harpy monster. But, I swear, if Harpies Feather Duster ever come off this ban list, this card will go up in price. So, for all you Harpy players out there, or you want to play Harpies, get your hands on this card now if you already don't have it. And I don't understand why Harpy Feathers is still on, on the ban list for us. I mean, OCG already got two, right? I believe. Uh, next off, I run three uh, anti spell fragrances. It's an awesome card in this deck. You know, try to stun your opponent for one turn. And, um, you know, you can just pop your monsters. Um, you can pop your opponent's uh, back row with your Harpy monsters. With, um,. Putting ground on the field, and you know it's a it's a really good card. You know, you know harpies. You know nowadays they kind of need all the help they can get. So, this is a good stun card. So, 
Play three of that. Next off, I run two Stark Party. This card is the OG Pendulum Summoning card. <laughs> um, you can bring, you can discard a card, bring as many Harpy monsters you want from your graveyard to the field. You can just go off, like go crazy. Link Summon, you know, XYZ, you know, all that stuff. So only play two copies of it. Because if you, if you add, you add, if you have in your hand early game, it's kind of, eh. You don't have no monsters in the grave, so I only run two copies, and it's been working fine for me. Uh, next off, I run two um, Storm and Mirror Force. This card is really good in this format. Bounce stuff back, and uh, yeah, and have a hopefully you have a full board um, next turn, and this you no know, OTK your opponent. And then uh, for the round off, I run one Icarus. I would love to run this card at two. But this, as I said, room is real tight. Um, like, like I said, I can always side it out in my side deck, the other two. But, you know, one been coming up fine for me. So, you know, one Icarus. And uh, that rounds off my monster. That rounds off my whole entire deck. It's 40 cards. And uh, I want to try to keep it at 40. I don't want to play no more than 40. Uh, for my XYZ, for my extra deck, I play one White Ninja Dory. Um, this used to be my OG card back in the day. Uh, I love this card, but uh, kind of see his value kind of decrease now because not a lot of people play a lot of background anymore. So, but he's good just to get rid of a card that's a problem for you. So, one Shidori. Um, next up, I play one number 82 Hotland Draco because we control uh, continuous spells and, and you can attack direct, you can attack your opponent for 2000, and they can't really do anything to this card. So, play one Hotland Draco. Uh, next off, I run one Tornado Dragon. You know, popping back row is fun. <laughs> uh, next off, I run Utopia Combo. You know, um, Lightning and uh, number 39. Next off, I run one Ice Preserve thing. Shout out to my boy Murmur Master. He hooked me up with this card and uh, awesome. I love Ice Preserve thing. Uh, then I round off with my uh, continuing on um, Harpy's pet drag, pet, Harpy's pet phantasmal dragon. This card is awesome. You know you can get extra four four K for nothing. And your opponent can't do anything with this unless they got a kaiju, but or a dark hole or a regeki. This can't target Harpy monsters, and he count, he, and he includes himself. So one Harpy's pet phantasmal. Uh, for my rank sevens, I run one. Number 11, big eye. You know, stealing monsters is fun. And number 42, Galaxy Tomahawk. I would never think I would ever use this guy when he first came out. I was like, what? But this guy right here is your, you know, your one turn Sayuja. You know, you can make uh, Borla with this guy. Like, this guy's just there to make tokens. That's it. And that rounds off my XYZs for my Link Monsters. I run the new edition, Great Fly. Great Fly is awesome. He's like the Miss Radiant for Wind Monsters. I mean, hey, I'll take it. You know, he's he's decent in my book. He's a Wind guy, so. Two Great Fly. And if he gets destroyed, you can add a Wind Monster back to your hand. Uh, Earth Monsters lose, um, you know, 400. Um, attack and defense and uh, win monsters game 500 so awesome <laughs> next off I run one link spider then I run one proxy dragon and I run one saryuja yeah skull dread and then one borlo thanks to my babe my babe brought this for me I'm like wow baby didn't have to do that but yeah I got one borlo dragon so that rounds off my extra deck. So that's pretty much my Harpy deck. But um, yeah, for those who don't know the combo, I'm going to showcase the combo real quick. So if you want to make, you know, the um, the one turn so you can play, all you kind of need is got to have a Kalen in your hand and a Harpy monster. So let's just say if everything goes to, according to plan, you don't have to worry about no one hand trapping you. You know, you discard a Harpy Monster. Let's just say you discard, oh, I don't know, Harpy Harpus. So you discard Harpy Harpus, and you bring out Harpy's Pet Dragon. You know, now you got your rank 7s. 
So, so when she's on the field, you know, you have a dragon. She's on ring seven, blah, blah, blah. So then you just go into, um, um, yeah, your rank seven play. And then let's just say you want to go into Galaxy Tomahawk. There you go. Tomahawk's effect. Boom. And then you can just make uh, as many tokens as possible. Boom. 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 All right. So that's all your tokens that you made. So then you get to um, go into a gray fly. Should be these two. And boom, now you got Great Fly. And then from Great Fly, um, you can just go into uh, take one token away, go into a Link Spider, and then from Link Spider, um, you just tribute two tokens, go into yeah, go into um proxy dragon and then this right here is your you can go into boil load or you can go into Saryuja pretty much you can just go into Saryuja boom and then let's say you have some harpy monsters in your hand or whatever and then you get to do all the combos with that and then um yeah that's pretty much a little cheese combo with that so yeah, guys, um, so that was my Harpy deck profile. Now I'm about to go take my girl to Blue Moon Group. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to just showcase that because, you know, it's, it is the Link format. And, you know, I know I, we have some Harpy players out there that loves Harpies, and uh, I'm happy. So that was my deck profile, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Team Time Riders for more additional content. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.